there is a story behind the work. Everything that's in here tells the story of a people and their culture. If it moves you, then that's what I show. My name is Lily V. Hill. Welcome to my art gallery. Her gallery primarily focuses on artwork representing Native North American culture. It's about a culture that is possibly dying out. And that's why I continue to do it, because I feel like I'm keeping it alive and offering it to people that have never been exposed to it before. There's a lot involved in all of the traditional arts. Very labor intensive. All of it is from scratch, all of it. They do it themselves. They do it the old way. Lily attributes her deep love and appreciation for Native American arts to her own heritage. I'm part Native American and Hispanic. Growing up, I used to spend a lot of time in New Mexico with my grandpa. So I saw pottery in my grandpa's house. I saw beautiful Navajo rugs in his house. The material culture was not just to decorate. It was how they lived. They were all immersed in all of it. And it's beautiful. And it was part of who I am. If it had not been for her heritage and culture, Lily probably would not have ventured into the gallery business. Before I owned an art gallery, I was in the business world. And I worked in Silicon Valley in personnel, but I didn't fit. Being in the business world, I saw everything gray. It was so matter of fact, it was so by rote, everything by rote. I just said, I can't do this. I can't do this the rest of my life. I have to go and do what I love, the art. It's, it's just in my blood. I don't, I can't tell you why I love it. It's just everything to me. She decided to move to Nevada City, California and begin the next chapter in her life pursuing her dream of opening an art gallery. I'd done the research and I knew that galleries failed second to restaurants <laughs> in business, and I knew. But I had to do it. I just said, I'm gonna take a chance and do it. She opened the gallery in 1985. I didn't know what I was doing. I just said, I'll just put up the beautiful, the beautiful work and people will come in. I didn't know how to do any of it. I just went with my gut. She knew the first step at least, meeting artists and collecting their work. I just went and bought whatever I loved and I never thought maybe people won't like this, I've got to buy what people like, no. I bought just what I loved, and I still do. I think of my business as a sister, and it has a life of its own. It dictates to me what my next step will be, who I should carry, what I should change, what I should try. A sister would, would tell you, I don't think you should do that. You know, I think you should maybe do this. So that's why I think of it as a sister. Vigil Gallery, can I help you? Running an art gallery is a business, and so I am doing business work too. But what overshadows that is the creativity. 
is the talking with the artist and the people that are interested in the art and the advancing the artists. That's very challenging, trying to get an artist known. Native and indigenous cultures are a big part of what I do, but I try to show the principles and spiritual qualities of indigenous cultures without being cliche. No matter what, I can't say I did it without Lily. She's an integral part of where I'm at right now and where my art is at and how it's developed and matured. She'll always be part of that. I'll always give her credit, always. It's so rewarding to see someone making it and you've been a part of that process. That's what it's all about. She's had a profound impact on another budding artist, her own son, Dan. Hello. Hi, honey. How are you? Pretty good. How are you? Good. What you got? Art's been a passion of hers since I can remember. Since I was a kid, she, we had paintings on the wall that she would paint. So these, you know, growing up around all this art has, has inspired us to be artists and to do what we can in the same field. I really enjoy coming up here and being with her and, and being involved in the art world with her. Oh, that looks fantastic. Gorgeous, Danny. She's given me the advice just to never quit and keep that's working at yeah, it. That's beautiful, dear. Do what you love to do and you'll succeed because you're tireless. You keep going, you have, you're full of energy because it's your love, it's your passion.